Welcome to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Trevor Alt. One year ago, a 15 year old Vancouver boy sparked the massive Eagle Creek fire in the gorge after throwing a firework off a cliff. Well, people hiking the Eagle Creek Trail had to be evacuated, and that teen eventually pleaded guilty. In May, a judge ordered him to pay $36 million in restitution. For people who live out in the gorge, life is still not quite back to normal. Our Jennifer Dowling is live in Cascade Locks with more on the continued recovery. Jennifer. Good afternoon, Trevor. We're near the Bridge of the Gods, and last year it was a much different scene here. The smoke was starting to pour in from the Eagle Creek Trail and flow over the river here, and authorities were evacuating hikers and campers in the area. And the fire was also creeping very close to the Multnomah Falls Lodge. Now, the falls brings in 2.5 million people a year alone, and firefighters had to surround it in the following days to protect the historic building that was built in 1925, keeping those flames at bay, sparing it. So so people could enjoy it today. Now, the folks that we talked to in the gorge that were out recreating say they're grateful to be able to visit the sites here a year later, but they say the scars of the fire still linger. Many trails are still closed down due to the fire, and businesses like Joe Fish and Cascade Locks that took a hit during last year's tourism season say they're still feeling the impacts. I mean, it gets tough at times, you know, but I just think, you know, all the people that come and support us, you know, the it's disappointing to see all the trees get burned up, right? Because every time I mean, like when I look up, I'll see everything is brown and it's a lush green. It's just uh, it's just uh, um, I feel really sad. I mean, this is happening and it took so long to have the fire contained. And Joe Bass of Joe Fish says his grandfather taught him the business. He says last year they were shut out near the Bridge of the Gods for more than 20 days. They couldn't operate their business, so they took a big hit there. So as these businesses recover and the tourists begin to flock here, again, they're seeing the scarring still on those trees, those uh, brown trees still in the gorge, hoping that it will rejuvenate. But at least for those trails that are open and the sites they do get to see, to see today, it is a beautiful weekend for it. Trevor, back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you. We do want to mention also Oregon's Department of Transportation is warning Gorge visitors about hazards that are still in place. Six miles of the historic Columbia River Highway are still closed. The section from Bridalville to Ainsworth is seeing falling rock and trees. And you should remember if you're visiting Multnomah Falls this holiday weekend, you need to go early. ODOT says the parking lot only has space for 186 cars. It can see anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 vehicles per day.